Hi, my name is Nicholas Egertson. And my name is Yolanda Mosley. And we are the program directors up here at El Camino Pines. We normally have an outdoor school around at this time, which means we are teaching classes. And one of our favorite classes to teach is forest and wildlife. Perfect. All right, the first tree we're gonna talk about today is the Canyon Live Oak. If you see here, it looks like a giant bush. Um, but what's really cool about this tree is that it has um, tiny leaves. And certain leaves, if you get a little closer, um, some are a little bit rounded, but others are spikier. And the reason why some are spikier is to kind of help um, protect it from prey, AKA animals that might eat it. And as it gets older, the leaves come more rounded because they don't need to protect themselves as much. And these trees can grow to about 80 feet tall, which is really cool. Um, and it is also an evergreen tree. That means it has leaves year round. So for each tree, we're gonna go over three facts that will help you recognize those trees in the forest. So for the Canyon Live Oak, our three facts were spiky leaves to help prevent from predators. Um, it can grow up to about 80 feet and it is evergreen. That means it will have leaves year round. All right, so we are at our next tree. This is a white fir. And ways you can recognize a white fir are first, if you look at the bark and the stems of these leaves, you can see lighter colored bark. So the bark is a lighter color, which is where the white fir gets its name. Another way to recognize this tree is if you look at the needles. The needles are very rounded. They're not very pointy like some of our other trees that we have here. And another really cool fact about these needles is that if you take one of these needles, you pick it off, bend it in half and chew on it and suck the juices, you will get your daily value of vitamin C. Another really cool fact about these trees is they are the tallest trees in our forest growing up to 200 feet tall. Whoa, that's a big tree over there. So our three facts to remember about this tree are the lighter colored bark, the rounded needles, and that it can grow up to 200 feet tall, being the tallest tree in our forest. So our third tree is a single leaf pinion pine tree. Very long name, so you can say it with me. Single leaf pinion pine tree. So what's really cool about the single leaf pinion pine tree um, is its pine needles. So if you come closer and you take a look, they're quite spiky, so if you poke them, you can feel a little, little prickly poke. Um, and they're also smooth, but they grow all the way around by themselves, so single leaf. That's why single leaf pinion pine trees. Another cool fact about this tree is that it is coniferous. That means it produces cones. So as you see here, you see a cone that it has produced, which is really cool. And then another thing is that a lot of times you'll see, see that single leaf pinion pine trees will grow next to Jeffrey pine trees um, because in this forest during the winter, there, we get actually a lot of snow. So the Jeffrey pine helps protect um, the single leaf pinion pine tree because it's much smaller um, from the snow that comes down. So the three facts about this tree that'll help us remember it is um, the pine needles that are pokey and they grow all the way around, that it is coniferous, it produces cones, and you can find it living next to Jeffrey pine trees. All right, so our next tree is a black oak. This is our black oak. And a way to recognize this tree is looking at the bark. This has the darkest color bark in our forest. And another way to recognize it is by its leaves. It has the largest leaves in our forest. And another really cool part about the black oak is it's the only tree in our forest that is not evergreen. So it is what we call a deciduous tree. And so in the winter and in fall months, it sheds off all of its leaves. And so the three facts to remember about this tree is the dark color bark, the larger looking leaves, and that it is a deciduous tree.
And our last and final tree of this forest is our Jeffrey pine tree, which is my favorite. Can everybody say, hello, Jeffrey? Hello, Jeffrey. Um, so what's really cool about this tree is if you take a look at the bark, come a little closer, um, it kind of looks like puzzle pieces, and that means it's layered. Um, and this is because it is fire resistant. So in this forest, we might face fires with this bark to stand a really good chance. And if you get even closer, and you take a big whiff. Some people say it smells like butterscotch or vanilla or whatever you might think, which is awesome. And these pine needles grow in a group of three. So that is one way and they're much longer than all of the other pine needles. And if you take one more look, we have an old Jeffrey and we have a young Jeffrey. And the young Jeffrey has a lot of branches still on the bottom and the old Jeffrey does not because as it grows, it loses its branches to also protect from fires that might go up. And the three facts for the Jeffrey Pine are, it's really cool bark that is thick, kind of looks like puzzle pieces that helps to prevent fires, that its needles grow in three, um, and that it loses its branches. And if you're actually here, it smells like butterscotch.